these days we're not used to the idea of God calling people, hearing the voice of God and, and during our sleep or at work. And yet in our churches, we keep this kind of vocabulary. We say that someone is called to ministry. And in the United Church of Canada, when someone feel that call, receive that call, there's a disposition and series of um, procedure that tend to, that, that the aim of those procedure is to test that call, test the validity of that call. So we create a discernment uh, group and we spend time with the candidate and after a time uh, there's a confirmation or not of the call and then the person can go to theological college and so on when we look at the story of Samuel it start as a story of a call and we have to admit in the First Testament, we have a series of great character that begins their story as unlikely individual to be used by God. Uh, we can think of Moses, for example, who said uh, himself, I'm not good at speaking, my tongue is heavy. Uh, we have David, greatest king. Uh, that start uh, as a young shepherd is the youngest of seven brothers there's many other stories like this and as we start uh, the story of Samuel himself uh, he's working for the prophet Eli and he's not and he's young and he's not an apprentice uh, who is expected to follow in the footstep of his master. Uh, no, that will belong expected. It's expected to happen in Eli's uh, sons. No, no. He was more um, a servant, a lackey, uh, doing the job that the priests and the important people don't want to do. The one who will get his hands dirty. And one night, Samuel received a call and God issued this call not once, not twice, but three times. And Samuel said, here I am. And we're used in our world, in our churches, to think that only important or, or special people are, God, are called by God and surely not individuals like us. <laughs> They have to be special. They have to have a, a little something that we can discern. We can see if we look sufficiently. The thing is, that's not what we learn in the biblical narrative. Once again, God does not listen to us or don't listen to the ways of humankind when it's time to select people. No, God follow God's way and call and keep calling unlikely people and most importantly I believe all of us to different ministry different position different task and God keep calling one twice three times four times hundred of time and God will keep calling until we're ready to listen until we're ready to answer and that makes us have to make us think. It's not up to us to judge the validity of a call. If it's right for God to call that person or not. No, God calls. Our job is often to empower that call. To find ways and place where this call can be lived. Contexts where all the calls can flourish. Because Samuel might just be a boy, but his call was as valid as yours, as mine, as everybody else. It's not a question of age, 
It's not a question of gender, sexual orientation, gender identity. So many things. We put barriers on all those human-made barriers. God calls. It's up to us to listen and to answer. Once again, thank you very much for listening. I want to wish you Happy New Year. And until next time, I remain Stéphane Vermette, the lectionary man. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.